Hey everyone, Chip Plus from LCI Corporation, the supplier of the thin film dryer. Today I want to talk to you very briefly about different types of dryers and how they work. So there's two main types of dryers out there. There's a direct dryer which uses the principle of convection or heated air to evaporate water, and there's an indirect dryer which uses the principle of conduction or a heated surface to evaporate water. Now I like to use everyday examples to explain how these dryers. So when we look at like a belt dryer, which is a direct dryer, it's most like a convection oven or maybe more aptly a pizza oven. Both have air streaming, but in the case of a belt dryer, we're evaporating water from sludge. And in the case of the convection oven, we're cooking some nice, good smelling food. In terms of a drum dryer, it's most like a clothes dryer. Both have a rotating drum which agitates either the sludge or the clothes, and it streams hot air through either one of those mediums in order to evaporate the water. Now an indirect dryer works most like a frying pan. In both cases, there's a heat source. In the case of a frying pan, it's a burner. In case of a dryer, it's a thermal fluid or maybe steam. And this heat is passed up through a metal surface and into the medium you're trying to heat. A frying pan, it's cooking nice smelling food, a thin film dryer or other indirect dryers, they're evaporating mostly foul smelling water. So those are the types of dryers in a nutshell. Please stay tuned and we're gonna talk about advantages and disadvantages to each one of these dryers in a future presentation. So there's two main types of dryers out there. There's a direct dryer which uses the principle of convection or heated air to evaporate water. And there's the indirect dryer which uses the principle of conduction or a heated surface to evaporate water. Now inside our industry, it seems like we're always using food to describe processes. In dewatering, we talk about cake being the output from dewatering equipment. And here I have a picture of a turkey and an egg being. However, these are apt descriptions. In terms of a belt dryer, it's very similar to an oven cooking a turkey or maybe a pizza oven cooking a pizza. In both cases, heat is used or heated air is used in order to either evaporate water in terms of a belt dryer or cook food in terms of an oven. Now a drum dryer, it's very similar to a clothes dryer. Both use a rotated drum to mix or agitate the medium and heated air streaming through it to evaporate the moisture. Again, a drum dryer is evaporating water from sludge and a clothes dryer is evaporating water from clothes. An indirect dryer uses a heated surface. And here I'm using the example of an egg frying in a pan. In both cases, you're using a heat source in terms of cooking an egg, it's a burner underneath a pan. And in terms of an indirect dryer, it's a heating medium like thermal oil or steam that is injecting heat into a jacket. That jacket then transfers the heat, just like a frying pan transfers the heat into the egg, into the sludge. Heats the sludge up, gets it up to boiling, and then evaporates the water. So that's the basics on how different dryers work. In the future, I'm gonna talk about advantages and disadvantages to each type of these dryers. So stay tuned for that presentation. So thank you for taking the time to watch this short video on different types of dryers and how they work. If you have any questions, please reach out to me at the contact information provided. Also, please like, follow, and subscribe to our social media.